in the heart of Chicago, a city that has seen its fair share of tales, a chilling story unfolded just last week, echoing the eerie narratives that once fascinated us in childhood. Clowns, those whimsical companions of our youth, took a sinister turn in a Northwest Side laundromat, turning a mundane evening into a nightmare. The setting was the quick wash laundromat on 5809 W. Montrose Ave, a place where Erika Gierczak, a 37-year-old woman, intended to complete a routine task, laundry. Little did she know that this mundane chore would thrust her into the midst of a horror story that would leave her physically and mentally scarred. It was 7, 34 p.m., on a Friday evening when Erica spotted a figure at the corner of the laundromat wearing a clown mask and a hoodie. The ambience shifted as a second man entered without uttering a word, launching a sudden, brutal attack on Erica. The encounter lasted mere seconds, but it left Erica with multiple stab wounds, a ghastly tableau of violence. As Erica, blood streaming down, staggered towards the door, the surreal horror of the moment sank in. Summoning strength, she dialed 911, her world fading as help rushed to her aid. The police arrived promptly, transporting her to the nearest hospital, her life forever altered by an encounter with a malevolent clown. In an interview with NBC Chicago's Christian Farr, Erica recounted the moments leading up to the attack, revealing an unsettling premonition. A strange feeling had crept over her, a sixth sense that hinted at impending danger. Despite using the laundromat for years and considering it a safe haven, fate had something far more sinister in store. Glancing at her phone, oblivious to the imminent threat, Erica noticed a shadow forming on her face, a harbinger of the nightmare that unfolded. A man concealed behind a clown mask emerged, freezing Erica in terror. Attempts to flee proved futile as the attacker, silent and menacing, closed in. In the aftermath, Erica shared the harrowing experience of the attack. I was trying to move, like trying to run, but I froze because there was like this shocking moment, she revealed. Trapped in a nightmare, Erica couldn't decipher the masked man's intentions. His eyes hidden behind the clown mask, he began a relentless assault, leaving Erica defenseless. As she recounted the ordeal, Erica described covering her head and torso, desperately shielding herself from the vicious stabs. She pleaded for mercy, but her pleas fell on deaf ears as the assailant inflicted further wound. Before abruptly departing, Erica, now bearing the physical and emotional scars, is confined to a hospital bed, grappling with the aftermath of an unimaginable crime. The patrons of the laundromat, shocked and horrified, expressed their concerns for their own safety. The once familiar space transformed into a crime scene, leaving a community on edge. As the Chicago police delve into the investigation, the identity of the assailant remains a mystery, and Erica's road to recovery unfolds against the backdrop of a nightmarish encounter that shattered the illusion of safety in a seemingly ordinary place.